So here's the problem. You know you should be warming up before you run. You've heard about all the benefits like injury prevention, higher quality workout, getting those lateral movements that you don't really get while running, but you just don't have time for it. All these really long, extensive routines, you mostly just wanna get out of the car and start running. Now, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on warming up for runs. For the most part, they were just really long, excessive, and in my opinion, just a little bit of overkill. Maybe for like a harder workout, like a like a really hard, fast speed session, I get where you need a more extensive warm up, but for an everyday run, I just don't see the the need for it. So I want to show you a quick and easy warm-up routine that you can do in about two or three minutes once you get it down. It may take you more like four or five minutes at first as you're getting used to the movements, but once you get it down, two or three minutes, so you get out of the car, two or three minute quick warm-up, and you're on your way. The beauty of this routine is that you don't need any equipment. You don't need a yoga mat, anything like that at all. It's all standing up so you're not having to get on the ground, which is really nice if you're going to like a dirt road to run or if it's raining outside, you don't have to get your clothes all wet. So this is the active warm up routine. We're gonna start with squats. So I'm gonna put my feet about shoulder width apart, toes pointed like ever so slightly out, not too much, just a little bit out. Then when I come back, when I come down in a squat, which most of you have probably done a squat to some degree, you're going to make sure that the weight is back on your heels. You don't want the weight up on your toes because that's gonna put the strain on your quads and a lot of strain on your knees as well. So we want the weight back on toe, the, the heels almost to the point where our toes are pointing up. So when I'm coming down, Weight back on the heels. That way I'm really involving the hamstrings in this. I wanna go down to the point where I'm almost thigh parallel with the ground. You're probably not gonna to get to that point if you haven't really done squats that much before, but get close to that and get to the point where you really feel that nice little tiny bit of strain in the hamstring and then come back up. When you come back up, you wanna really power the glutes forward. At the very top, get a nice squeeze with your butt and your glutes. That's gonna really help make this effective at waking up those glutes, those hamstrings, some of that stuff that otherwise would take 20 plus minutes to actually wake up and get firing in your run. So again, we're coming down on the heels, hamstrings, back up, glutes. Hamstrings down, glutes up, squats. Next up is gonna be jumping jacks, really simple. When my feet are together, my hands are by my side, when my feet are apart, my hands go up. Very, very simple jumping jacks. Then we're gonna do twists. With this one, we're essentially gonna bring our knee to the outside of the opposite elbow. So if I'm using my right knee first, I'm gonna bring it to the outside of my left, uh, my right knee to the outside of my left elbow. And then left knee to the outside of the right elbow. I'm not really twisting too much up top, I'm really having the motion more in my, uh, with my knee. That way I'm feeling it really up in like the hip, like way throughout here. And then when you go all the way over to the side, you wanna kind of let that foot swing out. That way you're gonna even feel it down towards like the IT band. So kind of involving the hamstring, but mostly way up in that hip. This is gonna help stretch that out, wake it up a little bit. So these are twists. Front lunge. Very, very simple front lunge. Go down. Two things to remember. One is when you go down, I want you to hold it for about one 1,000, two 1,000. Come back up. Second thing to remember is when you come back up, you wanna get a squeeze of the glutes, just like with squats. So I go down, one 1,000, two 1,000. Back up, squeeze the glutes. I lied, three things. Last thing to remember, make sure you stay in a front and back plane, like in one plane. You don't want to be have any side movement because the problem is if I, if I go out here, instead of staying in that straight line, that back knee is going to bend real funny coming down. And that's exaggerated, but you really want to make sure you're really in an even plane. Can, can help if you have some sort of straight line that you can use to make sure that you're really staying on that. That way the knees are bending appropriately. So again, here's lunges. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, back up, squeeze. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, back up, squeeze. Side lunges are almost exactly the same. All those same principles apply, except in a side to side motion. So I'm going out to the side, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, to the side, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, squeeze the glutes at the top. When I go down, you almost want it to look like a squat from the perspective of the knee that your head is above. Like I should be looking down and seeing the very tips of my toes, I shouldn't have the knee forward past the toes, just like with, with squats. Nor should it be like way off to the side, because again, that's that real funny bending of the knee. So here's side lunge, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, squeeze, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, 
squeeze. Next up is the windmill. Put your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, not so far out that you're feeling like a strain almost up in your groin area. So should be comfortably spread apart, feet slightly pointed out. You've probably done some variation of this before, but we're gonna take our hand to the opposite foot and then the other hand to the opposite foot. So my right hand is gonna go to my left foot and without coming up, my left hand is gonna go over to my right foot. So this is the windmill. Should feel this pretty deep in the hamstrings. It should honestly feel really good. It shouldn't be like really straining, anything like that. It should feel very comfortable and honestly it should feel really good. I love this one. This is just a nice little hamstring stretch to get them active and, and working right before you step out for your run. So here's the windmill one more time. The last thing we're gonna do is a little bit of upper body warming up. This is something I think is neglected often in, in running warmups because the upper body, you are using it, even though it's not as obvious as your legs, you are using the upper body and you want it to be nice and loose and relaxed while you're running. The good thing here is this way you're not spending the first like five to 10 minutes of the run, you know, shaking out your arms, feeling real tight in the shoulders and your chest. This is gonna get that a little bit loose so that you feel better as soon as you start running. We're just gonna do some really simple arm circles, two types. We're gonna do big arm circles, and we're gonna do tiny arm circles. With each one, with big ones and small ones, you're gonna go forwards and backwards. So I usually start with backwards, just more simple for me. Big arm circles backwards. I'm going as far back as I can, getting a real big stretch in between my scapula and my shoulders, and then feeling it in the chest a little bit too, just as far back as I can. And then the same forward, as far back as I possibly can. Then little arm circles, just making tiny little circles with your hands. Tiny little circles back, tiny little circles forward. And that's it. That's the active warm up routine. Very simple, very easy, very quick. I'm gonna go through it now so that you can see how long it takes and also see how many reps. I'll put those down below so that you know how many reps of each exercise to do. And I'll show you my time at the end so you can see how long it takes. All right, here we go. Two nineteen, two twenty, which is pretty good, pretty fast. Might take you a little bit longer at first, probably four plus minutes, which is totally fine. You gotta get used to the movements, but once you do, you'll be able to do this in less than three minutes for sure. So try it out. Even though you may not feel perfectly warmed up after you do it, the idea is that it's gonna get those muscles firing in a way that just, just plain running either won't do or will just take too long to do. You don't really wanna spend those first mile, two miles of your run having to warm up. You wanna be warmed up already. So this is just gonna be a nice primer before you run for easy runs, light workouts, tempo runs. Again, for like speed work, I do recommend a little bit more of an extensive warm up. I'll do a video on that as well. But this will really help with those shorter runs, the lighter tempos, all that stuff. So try it out and let me know how it goes down in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it works for you or if you have another routine that works pretty well for you, let me know. I'd love to hear it and be sure to subscribe for more awesome running content.